Hey there, ocean enthusiasts. I'm your host and today we're diving into an age-old debate, shark versus crocodile, who's the ocean's real killer? Picture this, you're swimming in the crystal clear waters of the ocean when suddenly, you spot a dark shadow lurking beneath the surface. Is it the razor-sharp teeth of a hungry shark or the stealthy, scaly body of a crocodile? Both have reputations as fearsome predators, but which one truly reigns supreme in the marine world? Let's set the stage. Sharks are the ultimate hunters of the open ocean, armed with an incredible sense of smell and rows of serrated teeth. They've been around for millions of years, evolving into the sleek killing machines we know today. On the other hand, crocodiles are the masters of ambush, lying in wait along the shorelines and estuaries, ready to snap their powerful jaws on unsuspecting prey. In this video, we'll explore the unique predatory behaviors and habitats of these two iconic creatures. We'll compare their hunting techniques, physical adaptations, and ecological roles to determine once and for all who deserves the title of the ocean's top predator. So, grab your scuba gear and let's dive in. But before we get started, I want to hear from you. In the comments below, let me know which apex predator you think would win in a head-to-head -head battle, shark or croc. Your input will help shape the direction of this video as we uncover the truth behind these fascinating creatures. Sharks, the ocean's fearsome predator. Sharks are some of the most fearsome and efficient predators in the ocean. Let's take a closer look at what makes them such successful hunters. Sharks have evolved a number of specialized adaptations that make them deadly hunters. Keen sense of smell, sharks can detect tiny amounts of blood in the water from far away, allowing them to hone in on potential prey. Electroreception, sharks have special sensory organs that let them detect the electrical impulses given off by the heartbeats of nearby animals. They can literally sense their prey's fear. Razor-sharp teeth, a shark's teeth are perfectly designed for ripping and tearing flesh. And if a tooth breaks off, another one simply rotates forward to replace it, they are always armed and ready. There are over 500 species of sharks, and they play important roles in ocean ecosystems around the world. Great white sharks are the ocean's apex predators. They help keep populations of seals, sea lions, and other large fish in check. Whale sharks are the gentle giants, as filter feeders, they actually help clean the water as they cruise along eating plankton and small fish. Tiger sharks are known as the garbage cans of the sea, since they will eat almost anything. In this way, they help clean up dead animals and keep reefs healthy. So while they have a fearsome reputation, sharks are actually vital to the health and balance of marine environments. Shark attacks, separating fact from fiction. Despite their scary image in the public mind, shark attacks on humans are actually quite rare. You're more likely to be killed by a vending machine than a shark. There are only around 80 unprovoked shark attacks worldwide each year, and only a small fraction of those are fatal. Most attacks are actually just exploratory bites where the shark mistakes a human for prey. Once they realize their error, they usually let go. Sharks have much more to fear from humans than we do from them. Humans kill around 100 million sharks per year, often just for their fins to make shark fin suits. So while it's good to be cautious and respectful of these powerful predators, we don't need to fear them irrationally. They are magnificent, ancient creatures just trying to survive, like the rest of us. Crocodiles, the stealthy ambush predators. While sharks are known for their speed and ferocity, crocodiles take a different approach as apex predators. These reptilian hunters are masters of stealth and patience, lying motionless in wait for unsuspecting prey to come within striking distance. Crocodile hunting techniques. Crocodiles are ambush predators, relying on camouflage and stillness to avoid detection. They will often lie partially submerged at the water's edge, resembling a harmless log to the untrained eye. But when an animal ventures too close, the crocodile will lunge with incredible speed, snapping its powerful jaws around its victim. This sit and wait hunting style is a testament to the crocodile's patience and calculation. They can go for long periods without eating, conserving energy until the perfect moment to strike arrives. This is in stark contrast to the more active hunting methods employed by sharks. Physical Adaptations of Crocodiles Crocodiles have evolved a number of physical adaptations that make them well suited to their semi aquatic lifestyle and ambush hunting techniques. Eyes, ears, and nostrils are located on the top of the head allowing the crocodile to remain mostly submerged while still being able to see, hear, and breathe. Powerful tails propel them through the water at surprising speeds for short bursts. Armored skin made up of tough, non-overlapping scales acts as protection. 
Valve-like openings in their throats allow them to open their mouths underwater without drowning. While sharks have adaptations suited for chasing down prey in open water like streamlined bodies and enhanced senses, crocodiles are built for lurking in shallow waters and shorelines. It's a difference in strategies that showcases how apex predators evolve specialized traits to dominate their respective domains. Crocodile Attacks and Human Interactions Crocodile attacks on humans, while relatively rare compared to shark attacks, tend to be more fatal when they do occur. This is largely due to the crocodile's ambush tactics and the sheer crushing power of their jaws. A crocodile will often drown its victim by holding it underwater in a death roll. However, it's important to note that like sharks, crocodiles do not actively seek out humans as prey. Attacks are usually cases of mistaken identity or when a human inadvertently ventures too close to a crocodile's territory, especially during mating or nesting season. As human populations expand and encroach on crocodile habitats, human-crocodile conflicts have risen in many parts of the world. But through education, smart wildlife management, and respect for these ancient predators, peaceful coexistence is possible. In the next section, we'll see what happens when these two fearsome predators, sharks and crocodiles, come face to face in the wild. Stay tuned. Shark vs. Crocodile, Face Off in the Wild While both sharks and crocodiles are formidable predators in their own right, how would they fare in a face-off against each other? Let's take a closer look at how these two apex predators might interact in the wild. Contrasting Hunting Strategies Sharks and crocodiles have very different hunting techniques adapted to their marine environments. Sharks are constantly on the move, patrolling the open ocean and using their keen sense of smell to detect prey from far away. They rely on speed and powerful jaws to catch fish, seals, and other marine animals. Crocodiles, on the other hand, are ambush predators. They lurk patiently in coastal waters, estuaries, and rivers, waiting for the perfect moment to lunge at unsuspecting prey that ventures too close to the water's edge. Their powerful tails allow for quick bursts of speed. Although their habitats can overlap, direct interactions between sharks and crocodiles in the wild are relatively rare. Some examples include In Australia, saltwater crocodiles sometimes venture into coastal waters inhabited by various shark species. However, crocodiles typically stick close to shore and river mouths. Bull sharks are known to swim upstream into brackish rivers and estuaries, potentially encountering crocodiles. But these interactions are usually brief as each predator tends to avoid the other. In the unlikely event of a direct confrontation, the outcome would depend on several factors. Size and species of the shark and crocodile involved. Location of the encounter, open water versus shallow coastal areas. Element of surprise, ambush versus head-on. A large great white shark would likely overpower a small crocodile in the open ocean. However, a massive saltwater crocodile could potentially hold its own against a smaller shark species, especially in shallow water near the shore. Ultimately, while an intriguing thought experiment, shark versus crocodile clashes are extremely uncommon. Each predator is superbly adapted to thrive in its own ecological niche, playing a vital role in maintaining nature's delicate balance as apex predators. Ecosystem Impact, Balancing Predatory Roles Sharks and crocodiles don't just inspire fear, they also play a critical role in maintaining the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. As apex predators at the top of the food chain, these powerful creatures help regulate populations of other species and keep ecosystems healthy. Remember, the ocean's ecosystems are intricately connected, and the well-being of apex predators like sharks and crocodiles has far-reaching effects on the entire marine world. By working together and making informed choices, we can create a future where these magnificent creatures continue to inspire awe and play their vital roles in the delicate balance of nature. So let's embrace the responsibility as stewards of the planet and take action to protect the ocean's most formidable predators. Together, we can ensure that the mesmerizing dance between sharks and crocodiles remains a captivating part of our world for generations to come. Thank you for joining me on this fascinating journey into the realm of apex predators. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep making a difference. And that wraps up today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with us. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We always love hearing from you, so please leave your thoughts, questions, or suggestions in the comments section below.